Hey there. Thanks for tuning in to Duckbricks. I'm Chris, and after we just got the brand new LEGO Ideas Polaroid camera this month for LEGO Ideas, the next LEGO Ideas set is already ready to go, launching February 1st, 2024. And that is the Red London Telephone Box, which has just been announced by LEGO right now, and I can't wait to dive into all the details of this $115 large-scale rendition of a London Red Telephone Box, the classic one that you will see along the streets of London. It's a really interesting set at a very unique scale and I can't wait to jump into it and so let's jump on over to the showcase. So this is the next LEGO idea set. Set number 21347 comes with 1,460 pieces and retails for 115 US dollars, 115 euros, and 100 British pounds. It comes with the large scale red London telephone box as well as a bit of a side street as well to just flesh out the scene. There's a light brick in the roof to light it up which is really nice and it even has a lamppost with flower pots and a cobbled street. Now this actually was designed by John Cramp, who is from England, which is really cool as part of the LEGO Ideas program, which totally makes sense because, of course, you design what you know. And it's really interesting because, once again, in the tradition of LEGO Ideas, they are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the London Telephone Box. I did not even know that was the 100th anniversary this year, but as it turns out, that seems to be why they specifically picked it to celebrate the anniversary, again continuing the trend of LEGO Ideas sets being centered around some sort of an anniversary in one sense or another. This will come out for the LEGO Insiders program, aka the LEGO VIP program, aka anybody who wants to sign up, on February 1st, 2024, and will be available from all LEGO stores on February 4th. Taking a look at the LEGO set itself, it is a large-scale LEGO telephone box, and I'm very curious what it will look like next to the large-scale LEGO Technic figures that they did back in the 90s. I feel like the scale might be a little similar, although it might be a little bit larger than them. It's really hard to tell the scale based on just looking at it. However, it's a really interesting one because this is not minifigure based. It kind of is its own thing in the world of LEGO, which is not a bad thing, but just something I do find interesting. And one of my favorite things are all of the Easter eggs and references included inside of the box itself. From the Legoland sticker, which advertises visiting Legoland, of course there is Legoland UK, so it totally makes sense why that would be there, to a look at one of the older Lego red buses that they did for the London bus, which is great to see that as a big city sightseeing sticker. There's all sorts of really nice Easter eggs scattered throughout the set itself. One thing I find honestly a little perplexing is that they show that it's a phone stand as well, and they really try to like advertise that in the marketing, although I don't really understand why that would be useful as a phone stand. Like, I guess you can put your phone there, but a lamppost is also going to be in front of it, so it's not like you can really use it to watch movies or something. I guess it's a place where you can put your phone. It's just kind of a weird thing to highlight in the marketing. Not a big deal, but just something I found kind of funny. I also do, however, like a lot of the other little bits and pieces of the details included in the set itself. There's a reference to the LEGO Ideas Jazz Band, which actually has one of the jazz trumpets placed on the sticker itself. There's also a reference to the LEGO Ideas Typewriter, so that's pretty cool, as well as just some quintessential British stuff like tea time and hats and whatnot being showcased on the stand itself. Overall, the building techniques feel fairly simple in terms of just replicating a box like this. It is, after all, a large rectangle, but I do think that for fans who really do want to pick up a large-scale rendition of the London Telephone Booth, for people who might have fond memories from visiting the UK like myself, or just people who want an interesting LEGO display piece, this is a really nice set. 115 US dollars for the piece count of 1,460 is actually pretty good. It's kind of right on the dot, and I'm really really curious to see exactly how this will feel in hand. It's a little hard, honestly, to tell the value until I actually have this in hand and on display, but it's still another nice LEGO idea set. I'm excited to get it on February 1st, and I'm really curious what other folks think of the set, so do let me know down in the comments below what you think of the set, and do you think that it's worth the price, and will you be picking this up? I hope you enjoyed our special look at the brand new LEGO Ideas London Telephone Box, and stay tuned for even more coming your way soon. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at the latest LEGO idea set. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the set. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you feel like it's worth the price? And do you feel like it is a good rendition of the source material, aka the original LEGO Ideas project? Thank you so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. And bye for now.